Hey there, what's going on? Kate McShay here. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can utilize how the top five professional athletes get paid in order to move you forward in your actual home business. So stick around because I'm going to share with you exactly how you can start thinking like these highest paid athletes in order to become compensated even further in your own home business. So check this out. Here, I'm going to pop up the highest paid male athletes, okay? So from 2013, these are the highest paid male athletes here. So you can see number one was Floyd Mayweather, uh, number two, Cristiano Ronaldo, LeBron James, Lionel Messi, Kobe Bryant. Now what I want you to pay attention to is listen to these two statements, okay? And I want you to write them down because this is what's gonna make a difference in moving your home business forward from here on out. It's starting to think like this, number one, you are compensated for the value that you bring to your marketplace, okay? And number two, you are compensated for the brand that you bring to your marketplace and how many people you are exposed to in your marketplace. Okay, so let's talk about this with regards to these athletes here, okay? Let's talk about Cristiano Ronaldo. So made 80 million in 2013, but pay close attention, his salary, his soccer salary as a professional soccer uh, athlete was 52 million, okay, just from being a soccer player with his skill set. However, the endorsements, the endorsements that he got from, from different companies, from different names, was 28 million. Now, LeBron James, look at LeBron James. LeBron James made 72.3 million, okay, but his salary from basketball was 19.3 million. His endorsements were 53 million. So what I want you to pay attention to, and then you can look at the other ones as you go along, remember that. Remember that you are compensated for the value that you bring to your, to your marketplace. Let's talk about a skill set, right? So all of these athletes are compensated for their skill set in their marketplace, in sports, in soccer, in basketball, um, in boxing, whatever it is. But then they're also compensated, Floyd, Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather is a different situation, but you're also compensated for, they're compensated for who they are as a brand name, as their name, and how many people they can expose themselves in their marketplace, okay? So people like Cristiano Ronaldo, like LeBron James, don't just get endorsements because they're amazing athletes, they also get endorsements because of their name. Okay, so yes, their skill set is amazing with regards to their sport, but it's also the name and who they are that gets them endorsements, gets them signings with different companies, you know, whether it's Rolex or Gatorade or whatever it is, these companies want them because of their name brand of who they are. Okay, I'm sure there are other athletes that are all over the world that are not professional athletes or might be professional athletes that don't get as many endorsements just because of how powerful these guys are with their name brand, okay? So how do you apply this concept to your own business? Well, you gotta start thinking a little bit bigger here. So I want you to sit back and think, how can, how can you raise up your value and get it out into your marketplace, okay? So maybe it's health and wellness. How can you get your value out into the marketplace? Let me ask you this. Are you hosting webinars? Are you, are you, are you on social media? Are you, are you showing yourself as the health and wellness person that people need to go to in order to find answers to their questions with health and wellness, how to live a healthier lifestyle? What are you utilizing on the internet in order to get your information out there? Are you recording YouTube videos? Do you have a YouTube channel? Are you starting to think of yourself outside of maybe just working for one specific company and you're starting to think about utilizing you and who you are to get your value out there, okay? Because if you start looking at the highest paid um, entrepreneurs in this space, in the home business space, they're branding themselves and they're giving their own value out into the marketplace. They're go-to people, right? The go-to people for YouTube marketing, go-to people for Facebook marketing, go-to people for health and wellness and working out. Now, the second thing is how many people you can, ex you can expose to your value that you have, right? So, prime example, when I was a second grade teacher, I was exposing 26 wonderful little seven, eight year olds every single day to my wisdom and to my teaching. But my compensation was obviously 
due to how many people I could expose to my teaching every single day. So I was not compensated the same. When I moved into a home business and I started teaching and educating people on how to build a home business through video marketing, my compensation completely changed because of how many people I could reach. Same thing with a professional athlete. They get compensated, and some people may agree, you may disagree, but you get compensated for the amount of people that are going to be watching you do what you do. So what I want you to take a second to think about today is I want you to think about how you as a business owner are exposing yourself or exposing what you do to your marketplace. And are you getting yourself out there? Are you starting to teach and train people on what you know so that people can start looking to you as an authority in your marketplace? And how are you getting eyeballs on your webinars, on your videos on YouTube, on Facebook? How are you getting more people to see what you do? Because I'm telling you right now, you will be compensated for the value that you bring to the marketplace, and you will be compensated by the amount of people that can actually be exposed and get their eyeballs on what you're doing. Now, you could do that through YouTube marketing. You could do that through a blog. You can do it through Facebook and building a fan base, you can do it through hosting webinars for your team if you're if you're building a team with your home business that you're doing. So that's the biggest thing. Start almost start thinking of yourself like a professional athlete. Okay? How can you use you? How can you use your name to take your business to the next level? And I'd love to know if you can comment below. And comment below if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. But this was just something that was on my mind the other day. We were talking about it with a couple of our friends on the beach. And, uh, and talking about highest paid athletes and just connected with me and clicked with me that people should be utilizing this same mindset in their home business. So if this gave you value, like it, share it with your friends, comment below, let me know your feedback because I think that this can be a pretty powerful thing when you choose to apply it to your business. And let me know how you're gonna apply it to your business. So again, this is Kate McShay. I will see you on the next video at some point soon. Take care.